Alrighty, just double checking something, and we should be good to go in just a little bit. Uh, my general, just as I'm just taking some time to do a library sequence while I can. Um, because I've got more obligations ahead of me. Mostly Aspyro 2 bingo. But I also intend to watch uh, the Super Gex League at some point within the weekend. And that's about it. シャドウさん、ヘッジホー。僕の記憶に刻まれているのこの後、あの、今は新映像だけ。マリア。僕は一体何者なのか、そして僕はマリアと呼ぶあの女、彼女。約束とは一体。I'm just chafing this wall, to be honest. It allows me to skip a lot of loading sections that would otherwise slow me down. I mean, I still expect to be slowed down a little bit, just not as majorly. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, still gotta do uh, Lethal Highway Zone.
ツラをレーザー落ちた場所に爆発が起きるからそれにも気をつけろよガンガン行こうぜ On my way. And I just fell. Lovely. That was by no means supposed to happen. Too close to the plant. All right, that sucks. Yeah, no, I gotta keep my safe distance when uh, trying to shoot these. But homing attacking them shouldn't be a problem. Or I guess th these would be jump dashes, weren't? Wouldn't they? That's better.
の力見るがいい <sighs> the sooner I get out of Westopolis zone, the better. So that took me a little while longer than last time to do Westopolis Zone. Oh, hello, five viewers. Thank you for uh, stopping by to my stream. And there was a bit of a desync. Not a bit of a surprise there, to be honest. Oh well. I don't have a whole lot running on this emulator. Okay. I'm just farming library sequences. I did think about playing some other games, uh, but I definitely have to uh, do Spyro 2 Bingo later on in the weekend. <laughs> この町にあった三つ目の顔性メラルドは入手した。もうここには用はない。さあ、第二ゲームの始まりだぜ。Let's move on. <laughs> Hope everyone is having a nice evening today. I know I am. 
Although I ran out of uh, chocolate to make chocolate milk with. So I suppose that's a bit of a downer. Oh well. Business as usual for me. Oh, I didn't want to make that sharp a turn. Oh well. I should be able to build enough speed to get to this section. To get down to this section without uh, any harm. Oh, there was another one of those up there. I keep forgetting about it. Oh well.
何者かは知らないが今は奴を信じるそれだけだ Oh, okay, something came up in one of my,、uh, <laughs> in one of the Discord Constant- servers I lurk. There we go. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. そのカオスエメラルド、僕。ブラックブリオ。この町者とも奴らを焼きかない。そこを叩くんだ。The fact I missed that all is extremely sad. Alright, well. Yes, 
績を無駄にしないためにも必ずや我々人類の手でこの星を守りきってみせる Alright, well, that's fun. Now I gotta do another hero mission. Oh, yeah, hero missions. Well, luckily, this is the only other. Well, no, this and Black Comet Zone are both hero missions I gotta do. Incidentally, they both have similar stage music. I don't think that was intended. どうやらカオスエメラルドとは無縁な場所に来てしまったようだ、ね、そうだ僕はどこからか逃げ出しここで人間どもに捕らえられた一体どこから何のためにI guess I have no choice. I couldn't get back up the other way. Dry land. There we go. That could have been ugly. It's a, it's a good thing those plants never counted as black armed soldiers to take out, because、uh, that would have been awkward.
Won't let me get off the UFO. Lovely. It's it's a strong possibility that you could get off it after a certain fashion in midair. Yeah. I really need to pick earlier times to do these. Okay, yeah, I gotta do two more dark missions now. Eh, luckily, they're not so bad. Yeah, I'm just skipping the uh, cutscene here on, because I only have to do Mad Matrix Zone a certain amount of times. At least a certain amount of times more. Compared to other things I would be doing. Other levels. Yeah, I'm 
Fix the camera. Let me just take the Samurai Blade, because why not? Ooh! Thanks for the subscription, Arctic Air! Long time no see, even! I'm happy. Well, yeah, uh, This is... get back to the main level. There we go. I just needed the checkpoint for save reference. Just gotta mosey along through this level. This is one of the longest uh, missions in the whole game because of how the level is set up. So I gotta take this in stride. Sub back to Arctic Air after uh, this Shadow the Hedgehog library sequence. Or at least I feel 
Uh, that's the wisest decision. Hmm. Well then. If it's not, then, uh, okay, that's fine too. Dang second. Okay. Oh, uh, thanks for the follow as well. Okay, there we go. I see what I need to do. Sworn there was a chaos control section here. Huh. I must have fuddled, fumbled something. But, uh, yeah. Well then, Rip. Honestly, I just wish everything came at a. Damn it. Ah! Vaguer. 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 <gasps> oh! Now I get it. Took me a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get half of the bombs in this level. I've been trying to suss out what the fastest uh, way to get the bombs is, or at least the fastest bomb route is. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I last saw you as well. I haven't played a whole lot of League lately. Oh, um, so I'm collecting 326 library sequences, which requires me doing a bunch of missions. This is unfortunately one of the mandatory missions to get a hunt- to get- Oh yeah, League of Being Man at all times. Uh, I was hope- I'm hoping the new items, uh, help my jungle at least be really good. I mean, I used to be really good as Elise. I'm hoping to still be good at least. I take it it hurts your guys' mental health? Ooh. I hear that. Loud and clear. Hurts my mental health sometimes too. I've been playing it increasingly sparingly since last year. I tried to get back into ranked. Um, I had a funny hee hee ha ha moment with Rikayu, who's a League of Legends coach. And while I produced witty banter with him, um, I don't know if my Elise gameplay was worth much outside of that hee hee ha ha. Just because I'm good at Elise doesn't... Uh, yeah, just because I'm good at Elise doesn't mean I have to main her 24-7 if simpler champions exist. It's basically the general gist of the, uh, coaching I got. <laughs> Which is still wise. Especially if I'm most effective tactic available gaming. I mean, I'll still play Elise because uh, I am comfy with Elise. Okay, so I should enjoy her with the new items then. That's good. I love it when champs I uh, relish in playing get improved a little bit through B 
big changes. I almost said big chungus, but that's the wrong, uh, wrong meme. Okay, there we go. Does the new Nasher's Tooth still help her? Or is Nasher's no longer a good item on her? I was talking about it with some peeps on Reddit at one point, and I liked building uh, Leandri's, or, uh, of course Leandri's, um, Nasher's Tooth. <gasps> oh, but buffed! Nice! Ah, oh, there's a lot of stuff I gotta try out. Oh yeah. But then no Gin. Wait, is Ginsu's no Ginsu's range rage blade uh, rage blade? Sorry, words. Yeah, Ginsu's probably uh, doesn't affect the least much anymore. It might still be a solid item though. Hmm. I'll have to double check. Okay, so no more magic damage on Gitsu's then. That's a shame. Oh well. That's a big ol' fooey. Well. I wonder what magic items I can build on Jax. At least, unless they fixed his ratio so that he's not a hybrid anymore. I imagine hybrid champs like Jax, Akali, Katarina, and, and uh, company uh, kind of got screwed over by the new items. That sucks. Okay, that's good. So I can uh, build all the AP I want on Jax. Provided I get Nasher's Tooth in there somewhere. At least, that's how I used to build Jax. I'm sure over time I'll uh, settle on something a little more standard. Yeah. I mean, I'll still happily play as Katarina, because why not, but... That is something I have to consider henceforth. Yeah. I also still main Riven for the purposes of uh, having just a go-to champ that is signature to my playstyle. But I guess Elise is up there, in terms of signature style peeps. <laughs> yeah, it is a really long mission. There's supposed to be an optimal route, but I forgot it. At least I know where the other two bombs are. Gotta zigzag along here. Yeah, the next two missions are gonna be really short. And the f yeah, I'm controlling where I go on the little pads. I have to be gentle with the analog stick, but yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, my analog stick movements have to be gentle, but yes, I am uh, controlling where Shadow goes along the paths. Unfortunately, my pathing is still really suboptimal. Yeah. Because of how long it takes normally to do the dark mission, I think the uh, point standard is a little uh, lowered. But yeah, should be an easy A rank. Assuming I don't die a bunch, for silly reasons. Since I'm on the little paths anyway, there's not much risking death in uh, 
this particular uh, section. I was still talking, and I don't like talking over cutscenes, so it was just faster for me to skip it than for me to shut up. <laughs> Distracted by something tactile. That's all. Heck even happened. All right, well, <sighs> yeah, just do that. Kako ga nai da to? Do you imi na da doctor? Hmm, kam peki da. Yeah, luckily these next two levels will not be so complicated. Or so long, even. waiting for the cutscene to trigger. Yes, the sequences are how I 100% uh, this game. Okay. Yeah. Um. Just um. There are other ways to 100% the game as well that I still do. So I get A ranks in all of the levels and all of the missions, which I just need to do at least once for some specific missions, and it'll count. And then I get all the. All 71 A ranks for everything, including bosses. Yeah. 
Okay, well, I guess while we're here. Um, yeah, the, uh, it's kind of like emblems, but not as severe. Although, in the case of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, that has five missions per level, but there are more levels in SA2B than there are in this game. Yeah. I think in... Yeah, SA2B has five missions for each level, and there are 30-something levels. This game only has about... I want to say 20-something? That might be a little too generous. Generous, sorry. Words. Yeah, um... Generous, yeah. Now, oh, screw this. I don't need the jumper. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah. I thought I needed the egg jumper, but I didn't. It was nice, but for speed, I don't need to for the dark mission. Yeah, so five levels over 30-something versus three missions for, I guess, I want to say there's... I want to say 18 to 20-something levels. I'll have to count later. I'm thankful. No, I was apologizing to the game. Not necessarily to... Well, yeah, I should probably stop apologizing a lot. <laughs> I just made a boneheaded mistake after saying that. <laughs> that was the literal worst. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. Luckily, I can still get weapon and still... There we go. Oh, no, on to the second half? Huh. Right, then. I guess he's... Oh, there we go. Going up. Going up. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot more to uh, SA2B, as I also have to play as different uh, gameplay styles on top of doing way more missions for each character. But, a lot of the 100% completion uh, conditions are similar. Alright, there we go. Oh, he's gonna hate me. Alright, Botnik. Doc Botnik. Uh, if you attack same... Or attack... Yeah. If you attack ally characters for whatever reason, the game reprimands you for it with the different characters. Like, dude, what the hell, man? It's sometimes funny, sometimes annoying. 
It depends on my mood, really. Uh, Dark and Hero, but... Depending on uh, who you're interacting with, the other side can be seen as evil because of what they did to Shadow and all that. Um, at least a point is supposed to be made, but uh, because Black Doom kind of gaslights us, or gaslights Shadow in some of the later levels I'll be doing, it's kind of easy to tell that uh, he's just... No good. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a trim. At least the worst level from a story perspective is uh, the Doom Zone because of the fact uh, Black Doom is essentially gaslighting Shadow. Although. Honestly, Sonic and Co. are not that much better. It's just that they have more of a leg to stand on the table. I was going somewhere with this. Yeah. Well then. Hmm. I had somewhere I was going with this. Robotnik is also not very helpful. Because he tries to trick Shadow into uh, believing he's an android, which sometimes works, and uh, it blows up in his face. ドクター、説明してくれ。僕に似たあのフェイクは一体僕も奴らと同じアンドロイドだというのか。その通りじゃ。Oh yeah, Robot Friend is best character in Shadow the Hedgehog, although he only gets two levels to really shine, and uh, I guess there were corresponding boss fights. This is extremely extra. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if the Gatling turrets were an afterthought or what, but the fact any of these can be done in less than te 10 seconds is interesting, but uh, sad at the same time. There's another boss that can be cheesed in uh, under 30. It's great game design. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. It's uh, lovely. Chaos Emerald is this one. Shadow, it will be the time to go to the end. Yeah, 
シャドウよ我がアジトにコールサイネズミどもが入り込んだようだ即刻我が星ブラック彗星に向かいこの愚か者どもを始末するのだブラック彗星Everyone likes 10 second missions and 5 minute loading screens. Okay, the loading screens are like an hour or a minute and a half tops. But yes, that is still a true statement. <laughs> I'm just going, heck, I, I should probably hold a timer to these loading screens. Shadow. I mean, the argument that could be made for the Black Arms is that they operate under a blue and orange morality, but Black Doom still tries to appeal to、uh, Shadow's conscience throughout,、uh, especially the Doom Zone, the Arc Zone. Central City Zone. So, most of the other levels I haven't been able to do, he, a he appeals to our conscience in some fashion. That and the humans are genuinely dicks to Shadow no matter what I do. Ow, you gotta be kidding me. I can't bring the Samurai Blade along? Okay, well, let's just grab this. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's one of those. They're both. Both Gun and the Black Arms are kind of horrid in terms of what they do. But,、um, it just depends on how you see the world,、uh, which one has the better argument. Okay, I'm staying on the saucer this time round. We're doing the hero mission, by the way. I just need to get to the goal ring. So, yeah. We don't have to stay on the saucer the whole time, but it does help with a lot of sections which require it in order for us to traverse through. Because, uh, yeah, it's a very nice saucer. Just a little hard to move、uh, horizontally, like so. But, uh, otherwise, yeah, it's definitely cute. Yeah, that happens. I didn't get enough horizontal movement, is what happened. I was either too still or、uh, something. It happens. Sometimes the, you can still get decent、uh, horizontal movement with the saucer. It is pretty funny to watch. Earlier in Prison Island Zone, I、uh, missed the saucer completely, so I had to damage abuse through the acid in order to, traver to traverse through, the, through part of the early level. That was annoying. I just overshot one of my homing attacks. There we go. I oh, yeah. It There are elements of this which are inconvenient. Not impossible to deal with. I mean, it's not the end of the world if I take a few more minutes to do this level. I've had to、uh, stop and realize that. I just need one A rank. Once. I could theoretically fool around in all the levels. 
I actually did that in Iron Jungle Zone uh, last library sequence. I deliberately uh, faffed about until um, I failed the hero mission just because I wanted to see what Robot Friend had to say. And then, uh, yeah, then I just did the normal mission because that was the mission I actually wanted to do. And then uh, got an E rank because I took way too long, basically. <laughs> It was, it was sad, but that was the only, uh, I think that's one of the only times where I've gotten an E rank, and it ended up being on purpose. Well, sort of on purpose, but the general just remains the same. So there's definitely comedic elements which could be done in a Shadow of the Hedgehog Let's Play. Um, depending on how I go for dialogues and the like. There's definitely a lot of nuggets of charm that this game has, and it remains one of my favorite games Sega has ever created. For exactly this reason. There's so much to this game that's really good. Most of the game's physics are still solid. I've definitely played worse. Looking at you, Sonic CD. Get out of my sight. <laughs> Get out of my sight. Oh boy. Literally the nanosecond I, uh, get out of the saucer, I'm gonna have to use Chaos Control. Why don't I do it now? Okay, there we go. There is a, um... There is a speed tech involving a save point known as the Chaos Control Glitch, where I activate Chaos Control while on a save point and interacting with the save point menu. But I've never been able to get it because it, I'd have to find conditions in all the levels for which I can activate the Chaos Control Glitch. I Chaos Control Glitch to a corresponding goal ring, and uh, it helps with some of the missions, not all of them. Unfortunately, the Chaos Control Glitch can also cause my game to freeze if I'm careless. Yeah. There are speed glitches in Spyro 3 and Spyro 2 I've had to do as well. I realized my saucer was at half health. There we go. Just getting on a new saucer, and uh, I ran into the same problem. Lovely. Yep. It's a design feature with all vehicles that I use. Luckily, as long as I just breeze through the level as intended for the uh, hero mission, I've been killing the black arm soldiers uh, within my path to fill that blue gauge up there. That's what um, has me use chaos control, by the by. Yeah, that's the that's the gauge I need to fill for chaos control. And I can skip a long and tedious section in this level. Well, it's tedious in the dark mission, but uh
If I can reach it in time. Yeah. Yeah. All that swirly stuff, platform wise, is for the dark mission. But, uh. Yeah. As Knuckles, I'm not supposed to do it. So, yeah. I could just skip it. Alright, there we go. don't need Chaos Control anymore, but it's definitely nice to still get, and there's a couple of platforming sections which uh, are greatly benefited by me using it. Yeah, I think I'm just at the tail end of this level anyway. Oh, nope. That's the... Oh no, I have to kill one of these guys in order to access a platforming section. Give me a sec. Yeah, in order to get some platforms to spawn, I have to kill this guy. Yeah, Shadow or Knuckles was gonna yell at us, but that's fine. Sometimes that happens in uh, some levels. I have to kill a specific enemy in order to uh, initiate a sequence. There's the last uh, saucer we need. And, uh, yeah. Just some ginger use of the analog stick. So, each level has five keys, and I got them already as well, so that contributes to 100% completion as well. So, I get all A ranks, all keys in levels, including the last way zone, which I stopped to do ages ago, and a couple other levels. Hmm. Not a doubt in my mind that I'd get an A rank, because it becomes a score attack for the hero mission, essentially. Yeah, it's definitely lots of content. Also, there's expert mode, which I unlock by getting all the A ranks and everything. And I do expert mode as well, to secure 100%. At least, a personal 100%. Expert mode is repeatable. You can theoretically save your game in expert mode and come back to it. Shadow! Doctor! Sama ga motsu, mutsu no kaosu emeraldo, otonashiku watashite morau. Kyou made kisama o yogashite o ita no wa, sono emeraldo o atsume saseru tame. Sa, tsunao ni watasu ni ya. Koto aru. Ha? Kono emeraldo wa boku no kotae o mitsukeru yuitsu no tegakari. Watasu wake ni wa ikanai. Naraba chikarazuku de umau made yo. Oh, okay, so you don't play expert mode. Oh, okay. Yeah, um... I just like completing games. If I can do that with anything, then, uh... 
sure. Yeah, games without difficulties are definitely my preferred method of uh, handling them. It removes the uh, possible ego damage if I can't do it on the hardest setting possible. Um, um, Knuckles is here because we helped him get the Chaos Emerald, and, uh, honestly, all the egg dealers have a hero character who, uh, interacts with us. In Lava Shelter Zone, there's, um, Omega, the robot friend. And in Cosmic Fall Zone's Egg Dealer, it's Vector, the crocodile, who helps us. Even though we end up not going to the computer room like he wanted. If anything, it's just Knuckles being a good guy. Yeah. Knuckles is around because it's it's part of the uh, gameplay component for this boss fight. They needed somebody to talk during, uh, to hint at us what to do for the boss. There are two other hero characters, but they uh, help us fight uh, Black Doom. Rouge in Gun Fortress Zone's Black Doom, and uh, Sonic in Final Haunt Zone's Black Doom. Vector kind of already helps us in Cosmic Fall Zone with uh, Black Doom in there. And then uh, Black Doom himself, through Doom's Eye, helps us with uh, Sonic and the Atlon in this level, Gun Fortress Zone, and Final Haunt Zone. So, there's three different versions of each boss. So to speak. Yeah. I'll get back here. I have to set the mark to Missile Fever, and that should end it. Yep, there we go. And now I can update the library sequence, uh total to 59. I might be able to do another one. Maybe. Although I am starting to get a little tired. Hmm. Yeah, the egg dealer's kind of a hunk of junk. Hmm. <sighs> ついに全ての構成を得られると合法の手。うう。貴様、この Yeah, if the audio did a desync on this, it would definitely be funny. Uh, yeah. 
Usually I give this about one to two library sequences per day that I decide to stream them. Just because that's how I've rolled. This is Almost Dead, or Almost Dead by Power Man 5000. It's a, a song. Not a very substantive one, though. Honestly, if it weren't for the vocals after the uh, initial bit, you might have uh, it might have been more enjoyable. At least it's in line. Well, it's not quite in line with the rest of Shadow the Hedgehog's uh, soundtrack because while it is uh, punk rock-ish, uh, it's definitely a not not fall metal. Uh, there's also a synth pop to some songs. Ooh. Yeah, it was Power Man 5000. I got the name of the guys right. Yeah, each library sequence, assuming that I don't skip, er, that I don't skip cutscenes, take about an hour, hour and a half, give or take. There are some that are considerably shorter. I am trying to seek out what the fastest library sequences are, so I can do a top ten for, uh, speedrunning purposes. I've been at this since April of this year. I also like to stream other games, otherwise if I was far more committed, I'd have more library sequences under my belt. Yep. April. Yeah, just... Life kept kicking me in the urethra. And I had to move from one state to another and evacuate two hurricanes. Yeah. Dedication is definitely what this is a test of. Yeah. I'm at least getting to the point of being more active on stream. I just wish that my body didn't feel so frail. Or at least, I wish I had more energy in me. I could probably sneak an energy drink into the fridge, or from the garage fridge into my pocket and get back here in time for another one, maybe. That's assuming that I want to do that, though. It's, it's an idea I considered. Things are slightly better now. I'm hoping they stay better. Between getting laid off and some other shit, I'm not too convinced. <sighs> Isolation by choice. Huh. Interesting name. Anyway, that's probably gonna be it. Uh, thank you guys for, uh, sticking around. I'm glad you, uh, came to the stream. Uh, or, yeah, I'm glad you guys came to the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, see you in Discord, maybe.